Hi everyone, LazyFire here. Welcome to Road Redemption. I played this about a year ago and put a video up of it, and it's changed a little bit since then, and I think it's uh, it's going to be a fun time to just go back and do a one-off for the casual thread. Uh, it's still got its Santa Claus holiday DLC going on here, but we're going to stick with the shovel chopper he's on, and we're going to pick a normal rider. Now, uh, as you can see, Shovel Knight's in the game. Uh, there's quite a few of these uh, different riders that you can take uh, but realistically you're gonna want to stick with the standard rider because a lot of the stuff you have especially early on is just gonna be ooh, nice weaponry start off here uh, it, it's gonna be dependent on what weapons you get picked up and uh, how well you do in the first couple races we're not gonna take that AK so you can see uh, you can ride and shoot Oh, by the way, this is a spiritual successor to Road Rash, if uh, you're interested in that sort of game. So, you swing stuff while you're on a bike, you race to the end, but there's also different objectives. Also, you kick people off of bridges, which is, like, way more satisfying than you'd ever believe. I'm also a fucking ace with this shotgun, by the way. Uh... I barely ever miss with it. It's one of my favorite weapons in the game just because of that. Also because it, it's basically the Terminator shotgun, let's face it. Ooh, and my other best weapon. The second slot right now. Magnum. Ah, that was my fault that I missed there. Uh, but you can see you can have three weapons at a time. Oh, oop, oop. May want, may want a melee weapon here. My normal tactic for these guys is to just slow down, let them pass me, and then take them out. Ooh! I don't know how I survived that. I am not winning this race at the moment, though. There's the rest of the pack. So, yeah, this is a race one, and uh, it's not overly difficult. The first couple missions aren't overly difficult, it's just getting to the end that sometimes can be a problem. Ooh. Ah, fuck. Usually I can get first place in the first few missions, no problem, but for whatever reason I had some issues there. Uh, mostly because I was shooting people and not racing. So after every mission, you get a couple dollars and you can buy something with that money. You can see it in the top left there. Uh, cash gain up is what I'm going to go for here. The Midas Vest is nice, kinda? For the bonuses you get on it but it's not really worth the damage take because yeah you're gonna take a lot of damage we're gonna leave it alone i have pretty decent weaponry right now the uh weird thing about oh hey shortcut the weird thing about using the firearms in this is that they control with the right stick and they fire with the right bumper i don't know what that like comes out to on pc but well, okay, with mouse and keyboard, but, uh, yeah, it's difficult to manage at times, uh, so you kind of have to get good with just multitasking, because you're going to have to race and shoot, which is, I think, the only thing that makes it, uh, not the most overpowered bullshit in the game. Now, mind you, there is no online multiplayer quite yet, but I would hope that when they finally do pull that together, that, ooh, wow, I missed, I missed twice. Fuck you. Oh shit, shit, shit. Uh, these are boss characters, so uh, they take a lot more damage. Anyways, when they do actually put multiplayer in the game, online multiplayer, there is split screen right now. Uh, I would hope that... Oof, I love doing that. I would really hope that they would just say, you know what, no guns. Alright, another race uh, completed, I guess. You can see your total kills, all this stuff. Uh, it's pretty helpful. Enemies disarmed, uh, that's just from blocking things. Experience gain up. Experience comes into play at the end of the life, let's say. When you're dead. Ooh, oh. Yeah, let's not do that. Now, we saw the boss racers a second ago, but we're going to see as we go on. Uh, different types of racers, uh, such as... Wow, I hit that? Nice. Ooh, 
That's a money racer, for example, so if we take him out, we'll get a big cash drop. Oh, that's a critical hit, by the way. You charge up your criticals by blocking hits. Yes, this will show. So you can see I earned a critical almost immediately there. This is all pretty fun stuff. Like, I, I'm, I've played a lot of hours of this game so far. Uh, especially since they released the new update about, I don't know, six months ago. And it just, it overtook almost everything I was doing, because it's just so fun. Uh, you die a lot, especially early on when you don't have a lot of upgrades. Ooh, ammunition up. You can always use ammunition. Um, but it throws out some really interesting stuff, and it's a really fun game overall. So, it's, uh, I don't know if it's going to be the case by the time this goes up. Uh, but, Jesus Christ, get in, thank you, no, yeah, they can kick too, and it's a problem sometimes, he should be dead by now, um, but there was a sale on it the other day, which made me realize, like, I should really do a video on this, because I'm having a lot of fun with it, now, this is what happens when I don't have a, uh, ooh, boy, physics sometimes, when I don't have a LP that I'm doing currently, this is the shit that happens. I just start playing games in my backlog that I meant to get to. There we go, crashed. About 99% of the time when you see me crash in this game, it's my own damn fault. Like, I should know better. Ah, fuck. Started swinging on the wrong side. This guy in red here, he is a blocking guy, so if you don't block him first, he'll hit you, or he'll block you. Uh... <laughs> Man, I love the cop cars in this game, and a few other vehicles, uh, especially tractor-trailer semi-trucks, will, uh... Oh, you're dead, you're dead. There we go. Ooh, MP4. Uh, uh. Oh, I've killed, like, all the bosses. Forget it. Don't even need to use the boost to get through. It's a Star Fox reference, everyone. Uh, but yeah, the... I don't even remember where I was on that. I'm gonna take the experience gain over the extra life. I'm not trying to drag this video out too much. Ooh, I didn't even realize I had a shotgun. Yeah, let's, uh, let's double up on weaponry. Ah, there we go. Tractor trailer trucks, that's the thing. They can become racers. You have to be careful of these guys, because they're insane. One of the things I was kind of sad that they took out of one of their patches and then brought back with uh, what I'm playing right now. Where's the tractor trailer? There it is. Uh, one of the things they took out and then brought back in was the hallucinogenic chemical zone. And, uh, I'm really hoping we pick up one of those. I don't know, I am sucking with the shotgun in this room. Uh, we have the AK too, so... That's more of a spray and pray weapon. It's not gonna one-hit anything. No, no, sorry. These paths here, these side paths, I love these. They just added these, made them official, like, uh, they're set pieces. This is all procedurally generated, by the way, so every time you play, it's a different map. And a uh, different set of circumstances. Yeah. This isn't good. The one thing I have a complaint about is how bad the AK-47 sounds. Oh, shit. Hi. Because it's very clearly just one sound effect that's played rapidly instead of a gun, like something that sounds like a gun shooting. Play. I don't think uh, enemies can block your critical hits, so use those when you can. You get uh, different amounts of money and points for how you kill your enemies. If you slam them into the back of a car, for example, it's more money than if you punch them in the face. I was really thinking he couldn't have hit me there. Get off of it. Damn. Alright. 
you can grab them. I've shown that off, but it's uh, not overly useful. There are a couple of missions in the original, like, beta version of the Early Access title. It's still Early Access, by the way. Uh, but there was a couple of races where, like, part of it was killing people by grabbing them and slamming them into things. And that is dangerous as hell, but it's really fun to do. If you're looking for a challenge, that's a good way to do it. And handily in first there. We're going to get to a point probably in the next two races where I'm just going to go silent because it's going to be difficult to keep up with everything. No. I don't want to take damage when I attack. Let's just max out our health and save the rest. Ooh, C4, huh? Yeah, let's take some C4. And a rooftop race. I'm fucked. I can't handle these things. They, they're, they're not my cup of tea. It's not because you can't go off-road, technically, um, but because the way the race works, it's almost always this, like, you know, kill a bunch of guys on the rooftop, and they barely ever give you enough guys. Suggestion is to just kick your way to victory. I won't get credit for those two kills, by the way. Oh, the other half of it is that uh, you do get booster rockets and a... Uh, kind of a grappling gun, I guess you could say. You'll probably see it at some point, because they stay with you. Which I think is actually kind of neat. There we go. That was perfectly done. What do we want? Critical up, health gain up. Let's go weapons durability and health gain. Health is one of those things I will end up losing a lot of it. Oh man, do I really have... Nah, alright, nothing. I have a gun. Just, I mean, like I said, I'm pretty decent with it. Apparently not as good as I thought I was, but it worked out. Uh, and C4, which is generally one of my favorite weapons in the game, but also my the biggest thing that'll make me lose. Because, uh, here, get away. Fuck, cattle prodded. Dead. I just got cattle prodded. I love that cattle prod. I've picked it up maybe twice uh, since they introduced it. So yeah, C4, you attach it to a guy, hopefully he blows up multiple people. You can see where this can be a problem. I would hope. There we go. Got away from him. Uh, let's see. Really what you want to do is just jam him into traffic. Fuck. Well, I'm dead. There we go. Uh, I think I still have a chance of winning this. Depending on how well I race the rest of it. What I'm really hoping to do with this is to pick up enough uh, experience to do the uh, auto start on map 3. Get out of here. Ah. Dude keeps trying to hit me. I do like that you duck instead of trying to deflect when you have those weapons out. There we go. Get our bat on. Actually, let's switch over to the shovel. Better range. Slower speed. Better range. This is always helpful. I feel like I'm gonna pick up that. Ah, oh, you're kidding. That's probably the end of that one. Actually, it's nitro this one. Ooh, shotgun back in the fold. Uh, let's get rid of that pipe. I'm not paying any attention to the race. Uh, you're probably gonna notice that the graphics in this game are not, like, the best. I agree with you, they need some work, but. 
Uh, they're serviceable. Hi. <laughs> I'll take that. Like, they'll give you credit. The game is pretty good about giving you credit for shit that you might not have anything to do with. Right. Hammer time, motherfucker. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna get third. That eh, sucks. No, get out of here. Oof. There's something just fun about beating the shit out of people on back of motorcycles, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm destined for third place here, unless they fuck up at the end. Oh well. Can't win them all. If you get fourth place, uh, it's a pretty severe penalty. You go on to the next race, but you lose 60% of your health. Total health, not your, uh, not your uh, current health or anything like that. Ooh. No, we're not gonna take either of these. We've switched into our second environment. Now we're basically racing against the Sigma gang. They're cops, mostly. Uh, I don't think there's anything super special about them. Oh. Fuck. That thing just exploding in front of me, I thought that was a, an explosion. I didn't think it was a guy. Fuck you, GLaDOS. Why are you on that side of the road, buddy? You can see how fast my health is going to go down on these things. Why are they on the wrong side of the road? This is still America, man. Oh, shit. We've got ourselves a time bomber. Let's get my health back. I... Ugh. I need to stop shooting guns. I need to get off the gun. Because I keep driving on the correct side of the road, and it turns out it's the wrong side of the road all the time. Technically, I should get both those kills. Uh, hello. Jesus Christ. Ow. Ow. Ducked. I ducked. <laughs> this could be ugly. Alright. Just need him to die. That could have been bad. Okay. Fourth, I'm gonna lose health. 25%, sorry. Damn. That was pretty ugly on my part. This is where the game starts to get a little difficult, I think. Alright. What do we want? Attack damage would be nice. I. <laughs> I kind of want health. Kind of want health. Alright, perfect. Shotgun time. Fuck you. Fuck you. Really? Ow. I was going to take that, uh... I was going to take that shortcut there, but... I didn't get credit for that kill. Interesting. I also didn't realize that that tunnel's ribs were actually, you know, objects. Ow. Yep. I should have uh, hit the brakes or boosted up or something there. That was 100% my fault. Well, level 9. It's not bad. Let's see what we got here. Durability of weapons. Now, I can actually start out with better firearms for each one of those levels I get. But I started with a slug shotgun right now, so I'm going to stick with what I have. 
see, there's part of me that just wants the better weapons and better base damage to keep going up. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, I got plenty of money here, so I'm spending it where I feel like it, I guess. Base damage. One more. There we go. But, yeah. That is essentially it. It drops you back in here, and uh, you can go again, or you can give up on it, like I'm going to do now. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you in whatever I do next. Bye.